Yeah, I'm totally into that. And today I'm gonna fuck up with you. I'm just so tired of life. I know it can be a bitch. Can't wait till I'm rich. I'll still be bored this shit, but I'll keep my screws on the edge. I'm finding myself. I got a gun on the shelf. Aim Fever has been accused of multiple claims that he is never yet to actually deny whether or not, or he has never actually posed these allegations, in which he harassed a fan, raided 40k8 goats discord server, and DDoSed Alex, which is a claim that we'll get on later because it's a little bit complicated, where he also did racism on a discord server that it was of his own, I'm pretty sure sure and he also sexualized Alex in discord so yeah let's get on to the claims so on the harassment part aim fever was in his youtube live stream and then when he tells his fans to just delete himself which i'll show you here how do you feel right now i don't know so all right i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna do now all right yeah so first of all i'm gonna ban you from my server because you're a dirty beggar so that's uh, the thing in the first place and second one um you don't deserve to be noah's friend to be honest and you're a horrible person to be honest just delete yourself man bye bye he clearly has the intention that the fan has to go away and delete himself from his life which in short means that he has to you know end his life and which is a very disgusting thing to say and even the chat agrees that this is just too far and you know the worst part is that the guy um told some bad shit to his friend for 100k robux and aimfamer said to the little kid if he could do this then he would get 100k robux the kid does it then aim fever begins on saying all these things to the little kid which i will show here and you're a horrible person to be honest just delete yourself man bye bye and the kid gets scammed while also losing a friend just because of some robux which just shows the morality of aim fever and how far he would go to manipulating somebody not only that he has also harassed a viewer online who was asked for robux when he was doing a police donate stream because he thought that the viewer was too desperate and he raged over the little kid and decided to make it out to be such a big problem that he fucking smacks his table and makes everybody fucking like i don't know he tried to threaten the fucking little kid with the rage but here you can see it for yourself please give me a tent you live so why are you so violent in fever the kid is asking for robux and it's your problem because you're exactly the same you're asking for everybody to join your stupid fucking please donate server so you can give the little kids five robux and they can give you even more because they're not they're very delusional and that's basically every fucking please donate stream i hate the concept of youtubers getting so much robux from please donate because why it just shows that you're unoriginal and you're begging for people to watch you and you're begging for people to join your stream and you'll give them free robux you can't fucking make content that you can actually provide entertainment to which shows how little you can actually provide content to the thing so yeah but anyways, Aim Fever is hypocritical in this part, and he is pretty disgusting, honestly. Stop being so violent and aggressive towards children. It shows as a bad image, and it's not really a great showcase for any YouTuber of any kind on Please Donate and the community. In his Discord server, he announced to everybody that he would doing a raid event and he, they should burn the Discord down. This was specifically 48k Goats Discord server, a guy in which who was harassed and was also 
know in this video which we will see later he was not specifically in the video he just i just used something from his video because he was better at explaining it but that's not the point 40k 48k goat was basically against aim fever for a long time and ever since uh, all of these allegations has come out uh aim fever has been really negative and aggressive towards all the under individuals who were targeted including 48k goat which is also a friend of side diced but yeah he raided the discord server which is clearly against the discord's us and it's not allowed on the platform so the ddos claim is a little bit complicated but i'll say the initial part and i'm not gonna dispute whether or not this is legit or not because i'm not 100 certain of that but listen so alex tw uh, attacked everyone that and that aim is currently dos ddosing him and the truth is alex was ddosed but we are not sure when or not that was aim fever but aim fever's chat began spamming aim fever w alex l or i'm not sure if it's aim fever alex chat never mind that's not the point they are spamming it right after like alex said that he might have been ddosed and then he made the announcement of aim fever it was not after but anyways why would that be the case would that be the case that uh, they knew that aim fever was actually ddosing him if alex never mentioned his name beforehand who knows but we will get on to that later because it's a little bit complicated but let's get on to the next part racism so in these next two clips you will see a two-sided view of aim fever basically raging and also just generally going on a rant with racism and here you go um guys guys Bro, someone no. clipped that. As you clearly can see, he is a massive racist, and he apologized for this, but it's not really genuine when you got the guy saying the n-word all the time in his Discord server. How I murder Olix brutally, wake off his head very slowly with a chainsaw, and upload it on YouTube uncensored, and also on the dark web. Every white boy in this server, have you ever said the N word? It's funny, right? It's funny. It, it's a it's a nice sounding word, bro. Have you ever said that? And then why you judge me for saying that once, bro? I'm not a fucking racist. There's so many black people in here and I don't even care. What's called nigga buns? And anyways, the moderator even agreed that he is not backing him up saying the n-word. Which shows that this is illegit and this is not just some edited source that you guys believe is fake. So, you can take this with a- You can, you can take it how you want it, but be aware this is pretty much confirmed by video evidence and audio evidence. So, you can take it however you want, but this is pretty clear evidence of this. So yeah sexualizing olives is a little bit more complicated well not really well anyways um aim fever made a discord profile banner in which he um drew olives to be doing some pretty weird shit which is kind of weird why you're sexualizing a minor but eh, it's not that big of a deal honestly but still a um, minor's pfp in a some sort of sexual intention with a cause of harassment is still not okay and should not be forgiven especially when the sexual intention is within the cause of a minor's dispute and and also reputation therefore this is not okay and fever should be held accountable in which he is in denial of accountability which is also the title of this video because time on time aim fever has denied all of these allegations he has also just kept ignoring them and whenever you like ask him something he bans you when you say are you racist do you want to do a racist video or something like so do you funny meme with racism he gets immediately mad and ban you off the server so yeah that's basically everything
aim for native response video not really a response but a exposed video on Nolix. and i thought today that we can check this out so um yeah let's go the entire video of handsome's pet is the worst bullshit scam you have probably ever seen on youtube all right so he's talking about Olix's admin video which yeah is pretty confusing but it's really irrelevant to the situation with you doing all of these allegations but who cares really yeah it's pretty scummy but who fucking cares it's irrelevant to the story anyways let's get on to the next part in the end he even told me in my dms that he doesn't even know who did us to so in favor show some evidence of him and Olix talking and this might be true this might be false who knows but it's not really the point. the point was that aim fever's chat was saying in w aim fever alex before alex even announced the fact that alex was ddos which kind of shows the fact that there might have been some rumors with aim fever ddosing him which led him to the conclusion of doing that announcement so you can take this with a grain of salt i noticed that aim fever likes to call him alex a lot of hassam's pet and you know, that's actually a pretty arguable fucking nickname. Because, yeah, Alex's career was made out of Hassan. That is true. Uh, Alex was career was like i guess boosted by the fact that he got donated by hasim all the time and the fact that hasim donated so many times to him and that's pretty nice but yeah you can get frustrated with the fact that alex is still getting donated by hasim but that's really just an opinion but um i'm not sure if you understand this but specifically alex and hasim has a partnership alex keeps making videos on the game please donate to interact viewers with in the game in which Hassan makes money because Hassan makes 10% off of all donations on this game, which kind of leads to the conclusion that it's only profit that he gains off of, you know, donating because the guy makes millions of Robux off of other people's donations. So. <laughs> So now he shows a screenshot of Alex saying the n-word and you know take this with a grain of salt you know because I am not sure whether or not this is truth but I will actually go on to explain something later that you might actually have another conclusion to so take this with a grain of salt the guy who was basically open racist to everybody is now out here saying Alex is a racist after Alex called him out for being racist hmm very suspicious and indeed why would Alex be racist in aim fever's dms especially because after being acclaimed with these allegations that would just be hypocritical and pretty dumb to be honest because you're accusing the guy that is being racist and then you're posting an n words in his dms that's pretty much a bad idea and the logic doesn't really make it any sense but take a grain of salt with it because I'm not really sure whether or not this is fake or just is the truth. Nigga, 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 I'll do for one. Nigga, 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 guys. Alex explained uh, after this, I'll, I'll get on to it, but Alex said that he said, There you go, because he's doing please donate stream. Nigga, 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 guys. So take the listen again and tell me what you think. I'll even put subtitles and then you can maybe find some regulation on it. So. Here you go. Yeah, that sounds pretty familiar, right? But if this was not the case and Alex openly said the N word, why would nobody clip it? I'm pretty certain that Aim Fever was the only one who actually claimed Alex of racism so far, besides Side Eyes, but that was like solved already, so that's not. Never mind. If if nobody clipped it and sent it on YouTube, there must be an explanation to it, right? Because there was a lot of people who actually thought he said the N word. Well, that's because after Alex said, after Alex chat said that he said the N word, he explained it to everybody by saying he said, "There you go," and not the N word, which is pretty explanatory when you listen to the clip very slowly. And you know he's just pretty fast. He uses a little slang for it instead of actually pronouncing it 100% correct with grammar. But that's not the point. He said, "There you go." He didn't send the N word. And to be honest, anybody could say that. But especially this one, this sound, this is kind of hard to identify. But if you listen closely, I would say that you could definitely hear the fact that he said, "There you go." But you have to decide whether or not you feel like this is the case or this is not the case. But I feel like 100% this is just there you go. So take a grain of salt and yeah. So you know, in favor, you kind of 
off the part where Alex explained the thing with the N-word, which is pretty dumb to be honest if you're gonna make a completely biased, uh, unbiased video, but it's impure after all, he said the N-word before, so what's the point? Aiming Olex, he's literally been sexualizing, sexualizing him. Yeah, I'm totally into that, and today I'm gonna fuck you. So, here is, uh, here we have the screenshot of him sexualizing Olex, there's not too much to it, I've already said it before. Um, but, he's also sexualizing Olex, um, in the video. Yeah, he's making some sort of fanfic about Hassam and Olex, which... It's a pretty bad idea if you're trying to explain something. I don't know. It's, it's some trolly edgy shit, and I, I'm pretty sure nobody would fucking listen to a argumentation or a response with fucking fanfic in it, dude. Oh my god, you must be like really high if you think that a fanfic is gonna help you win a fucking argument. So Albert's face on this video is for absolutely no reason. I spent 24 hours and please donate. Look at the top left. It says 500,000 Robux. He earned a total of 11,000. <laughs> left after 10 hours. Yeah, so this part is actually one of the things I might actually have to agree with. But, um, the thing is, you used to do it before. So, what's the point? And basically, every YouTuber does it for more retention. Like, it doesn't make any sense to say, for example, on a thumbnail that you donated 5k and 5137 Robux, you would probably say a rounded up number or something that, that gets the viewer to watch. Not specifically does it have to be the truth, the truth has to be within the video when you're explaining it, but yeah, it can cause clickbait, but I wouldn't feel like this is the worst amount of clickbait I've ever seen before. That's basically how it works here. A drama YouTuber called Zydice made a 12 minute exposing video about Olix. Olix tried to bribe him because he was scared. But after Zydice made a video about me, Olix became friends with him again. Oh my lord. Putting another dick in his mouth can't be that hard for someone who already has a lot of dicks in it. So the Zydice claim, I actually don't know too much about it. So I, as I said before, 48k goat made a video on the response of Aim fever, and I decided that I just wanted to let him explain the part with within that was from his video. I have even linked it in the description of this video so you can go watch the original. But yeah, here you go. M starts talking about Side Ice and claiming that Olex was not friends with Side Ice, but once Side Ice made the exposing video on Aim Fever, Olex then decided to become friends with him. This is false because I actually talked to Side Ice April 10th, 2022, about the Olex video we talked it over and he he agreed that he was in the wrong he decided to take it down I didn't force him to take it down he took it down over his own will and then he made the exposing video on aim fever the 24th now the same day the 10th that me and Sidus had gone over this we also made a group chat me Sidus and Olex and we all got over it we are we're all chill now so then he made the Aim Fever exposing video the 24th, so what Aim Fever said about Olex being friends with Side Ice only because of the video is false. Yeah, that's basically everything. There's not too much to it, it doesn't really matter, Side Ice is not included in your claims, so what's the point? Threaten a small please donate YouTuber. So, Olex would give him some attention if he nukes him, but after Zogland denied, he threatened him. Olex asked me to get in a call. And so he wanted me to switch up the nuke, so I would nuke him instead of my friend. Because he just said he would give me clout and, more, and all that stuff if I did what he said. And so I denied that, and then he started threatening me. But that's not really what Alex has to say. Alex made a statement on the video on 48k Goat's video where Sockland explained everything and you know and 48k goat couldn't respond to this because he didn't know anything but alex responded by the way the soccer and stuff is all cap my only interaction with him is joining his discord server asking him from stop stealing my thumbnails and he seemed annoyed that i said that and started calling me a pedo then i straight down to streams which he copied and pasted my thumbnail from so yeah that's basically everything to it. Sockland was never fucking being aggressive at, and he was basically lying because what do you know? Aim Fever and Sockland were friends on beforehand. Wow, congratulations, guys. But yeah, that's basically everything on Aim Fever. Aim Fever was pretty disgusting, dude, 
and he still is, and he's still actively doing some racist shit, and he's also talking crap on his Discord server, so there's not too much to it. In favor, this is the response. You're a fucking massive hypocrite, and you're a dumbass fucking liar, and please take accountability for your actions instead of being in denial. Yeah, and that's basically everything. Thank you for watching, everybody. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow my Twitter, join my Discord. Link in the description. Subscribe to my second channel. Subscribe to this one. Like, subscribe, click the button, comment your opinion on this video. And yeah, that's basically everything. If you thought this was edu educational, informative, or transformative, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.